Hi folks, um, I'm doing this again because um, for some reason it re recorded before. Uh, I don't know if it's because the batteries were going flat, so I've changed the batteries. Um, before I start, well, the, I've posted a screen grab of uh, and the latest where apparently um, he's told some risque jokes as Russell Brand about rape, and that apparently must be evidence that he must be a bad one. It's not as if any other comedian also has done that. I mean, comedians have, many comedians have made such jokes. And we, it's not such a big investigation because the documentary itself had sort of jokes about him spitting on women and stuff. So they're there in the documentary. Um, now, one of the things that, the main thing I'd say uh, about this is oh by the way before I start in the last one I did say I was talking about a tweet where you know the ladies was um, she was stating that she got contacted by um, the Times I believe again we don't know if it's true or not but you know so open mind about that I'm not saying it's true I'm not saying it's false um, but I said that that uh, because she said that she wasn't including the show because she didn't have a bad um, you know, bad experience with him, and I said I, I misworded it. I said, "Oh, well, that's um, they would only want bad people in the show." What I should have, what I meant to say, I didn't realise. I thought I had said it correctly, but what I meant to say is they only want people with bad experiences in the show. That's what I meant to say. So if you hear that, that's what I actually I'm correcting myself there. But what's interesting again is why this show now has. Has the show who who instigated the um, show? Oh, by that I mean who you know was did one of the women go to the show or the Times or the media whatever and make these allegations or did dispatches stroke the Times instigate it by seeking out contacting as many people as they knew as possible i mean where have they got these details from have they got it from scanning the net for people have claimed to have dated him or has somebody provided a list of the women he's dated it's very strange very strange i mean again this isn't um jimmy savile era this is um an era where, where police do believe you so i don't know why none of these women have gone to the police um i mean we are in sort of i mean up to a few years ago the police believe you regardless. I mean, they didn't bother seemingly to investigate too much. They seemed to just presume he was correct. As in, we had that case where that um, chap claimed he was molested and his friends got murdered, apparently, and yet we're told, I don't know if it's true or not, the police never bothered investigating if his friends had been murdered, which you'd have thought would have been the first thing to do. Rather odd. Um, so... The question is, why aren't these? Have they gone to the police? And if not, why not? There's, it's all really murky. Now, the other side of it is, I mean, there's another. There's an accusation of um, sexual assault from two thousand and three. Now, that could be simply um, a hand on the bottom. That might all. Be, that might all be the claim. It's. That might it might not be any more sick. Well, I mean, obviously, all touching and all this is we have to say is bad. Obviously, it's bad. It's all bad. You should never do that to anyone. But obviously, the the question is, would the police, in you know, prosecute such an old case? Now, obviously, I would imagine rape and murder. They would do. Um, but the reason I say this is because when my friend got assaulted physically by a ex-husband um, the police said because I think she wanted to bring another charge that was over six months old and the police told us that they only prosecute cases that are, are under six months they wouldn't go any further and this is a person who had at the time I think 97 criminal records might be more um, last time I checked I think he's gone back to prison for beating up his current girlfriend uh, it was in and out prison, so it's not somebody the police didn't, you know, I mean, they knew it was a bad one or, or a wrong one or something. It wasn't somebody who could be innocent. It was a scumbag. 
Um, so I don't know if they would go back that far. I mean, this could be the case. It could be all these women have gone to the police and the police have said it's too old a case. So, you know, there could be that. Um, I mean, and then you've got to have... Where, where there may be... I think um, in my friend's case, I don't know if this would apply for the for this case, if they did go. I think one of the things the police asked my friend to provide was text messages to provide evidence by this um saying you know i've been assaulted and sending that to a friend and i think she had done so there was that as a uh, evidence but i don't know if that had been used in court i think that was just i don't know if that was for the police to clarify there was a case a possible case or if um if that would have been used in court i forget it was it's a while ago now it's going back a few years so it might be that, although it be, one would, it, I mean, you know, a lot of it will be one word against the other, but if if one of the people, uh, victims, should we say, or ladies or whatever, claims, makes a claim, and she has sent a text to a friend or something saying, this happened, that I, I don't know if that be used as evidence, obviously, will they keep hold of the phones now i'd have thought actually they may do but people don't i do but i'd imagine you know they might be more special to them if they've dated brand they might have pictures of him and stuff on the phone um so there's that isn't there uh it it is all a bit strange i mean like i said the problem is would they investigate would they do this with it being such an old case i mean and the problem there is if they don't invest if they don't prosecute then he's always going to have a black mark over his head everything's going to be cancelled i have reading today i think um, a, a venue has already cancelled him people are getting rid of him left right centre and everyone's everyone's distancing themselves because so, you know the, the, all the agents will have said, look, move away from him, we don't want you associated. No, it's all, it's all this murky stuff. And it isn't, you know. But we'll see, won't we, folks? I mean, one of the things that's interesting is how people, you know, by the way, I'll say, well, ages ago, when I was about 14, 15, this is way before, this is about 1990s, I was on work placement, and I don't know if schools still do, I presume they do, but they sent me on this work placement in the town city centre for, I think it was two weeks. And when a, one of the things they asked me to do was carry boxes from downstairs, upstairs, and they were full of paper, I forget. I think they were moving the head office to this place or something. I forget why all these boxes were there um, for upstairs. I mean, this is before they bothered with computer. They did have a computer. But I think it was, I don't think it's like now with all this stuff on it. It's, um, I remember, yeah, I remember there was computers upstairs. But I think there, there was still a lot of paper based, all the things were on paper, a lot of it. They might have even been transferring it to computer, I can't remember. Um, it was all DOS back then, what they had, if I remember. I don't remember them using Windows. I remember it seemed to be DOS a lot. Well, back then, everything seemed DOS based rather than Windows. Um, Windows might not have even been out then Windows 3.1 anyway that's going off track but oh, well, I, for for some reason that all this paper was on this like um, wooden it was like not a table it was a high up thing I don't know what you'd call it I can't remember if it was um, a temporary thing or permanent for the building but these three women for some reason were stood on it and they were just nattering and I was stood there I was shattered they were nattering. I was waiting for them to move. They didn't. So I just thought, oh, I'll take with that. I picked up one of the boxes. It was like, I think it was like an A4 thing full of papers. They're quite ever. And I walked up the stairs. And as I did, this woman, who must have been 50, and to me at the time, she seemed like an old lady, and she wasn't even attractive, claimed I looked up her skirt. Now, one, I was too knackered. I wouldn't have cared less if she was uh, some hot 18-year-old. I'd have been too knackered anyway, but she wasn't. Two, she was, she was 50. Three, she wasn't even attractive. And four, and this is the main one, a skirt was a long skirt that went down to the 
floor, you know, about, about an inch or two maybe off the floor. So it was physically impossible to look up a skirt anyway, which was ridiculous. It was a ridiculous thing. And yet she told and they all laughed and thought it was funny. It was an awful experience. If, if, now I'd have just walked out and said to stuff your job. Um, but, I mean, it made me feel awful that did actually. I never never enjoyed being there after that. It just made me feel creeper. Um, it was awful. Um but yeah, it was a ridiculous thing to say. I don't, I don't, I don't see how she thought I could have looked up a skirt when it actually was straight to the floor. I mean, you know, she wasn't in a mini skirt or something. Um, she had a long skirt anyway. I mean, she's probably brown bread by now because she was that old. Um, but yeah, it's these things. Like I said, the accusation from two thousand three, if it's a sexual assault, could just simply be. I presume. Uh, I'd presume that it could be something as simple as putting your hand on a bottom or something or brushing past them. Again, it might have happened, it might not have happened. In, the, in all this, I'm keeping, like I keep saying, I've got an open mind. I just find the whole thing rather odd. Again, who in, you know, I don't understand why this show is doing it. And if they have gone to the police and the police said they're not prosecuting, should, and that's what perhaps could have happened. Because I don't understand why they've gone to this show and not the police. Um, I just find it. I just find it strange. Why haven't they gone to the police? Or if they have, why haven't they said that in the show? They haven't mentioned. You know, it just seems odd. All of it's really weird. The more it goes on, all this weirdness. And again, the problem is some people may make accusations because they'll be seeking either money or fame. That's the danger. That's the danger of these things. Once, see, when the, once the police announce, have you been in, you know, contact? Well, people are just gonna, the, you know, there'll be women out there who'll be thinking money or fame because the moment they do it, they can then sell a story to the papers and get a bit of fame. I mean, if you're, you know, if you're an actress or a comedian that isn't very popular or well known, it's not a bad way to get a little bit of fame. Get on TV or the radio, get a few interviews in. You know, people do these things, and not everyone's that nice. Anyway, just a thought, folks. Just um, like I said, it's raining at the moment. It's dreadful weather. That's why I'm doing quite a few of these things, because I'm sat indoors instead. Well, I've just been for a walk, and it's just been lousy weather. Um, I'm back now. After just avoid it, but I did get wet. Horrible weather, it'll be winter soon, depressing, dark and depressing. That's something that I'm not looking forward to when it starts going dark early. That's in the next few weeks. Um, I hate that period of time from what now roughly, maybe in a week or two, to December. Once, once December's out, I always find, I always think in my mind it's start of. I know it isn't, but in my mind, I like to think it's the start of spring and I look forward to it getting lighter. So I think um, I might be wrong, but I think it does start getting lighter after December. So life is, so I sort of feel a bit better. I still have to go through January and February. It's depressing, but it's the three months before and you're just thinking, and each year, every year seems to fly by. I mean, I keep wondering, I keep, I'm, I'm at the stage, I keep waking up thinking, well, I'm thinking, is this the last day? Will I be having a heart attack tomorrow or something? Um, you just don't know. You don't know if I've got 50 or 60 years left or if I've got two weeks left or even two days. Um, I get obsessed, you see, folks. I start looking up who's died and all the actors and actresses and what age they died and all this and did the smoke and all this. Um, yeah, it's, it's always a bit get a bit morbid sometimes anyway won't we'll start going on that because it'll bring everyone down depress everyone let's hope this is recorded because I don't know what happened to the last file uh, I, I mean the batteries there should have been enough power in so I don't know why it didn't record it might have been the thing going faulty oh well we'll see alright then bye